Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brewing Banter. Jay, why, why, why this? I know it looks kind of weird because we can't do it as well as Pua, yeah. but this is the part before her last pass, if y'all have seen oh, it. Right. But it's very like twitchy and creepy. Um, so we always just like to, you know, incorporate some dance moves from Florentines, and I feel like that was most fitting for Pua's. But I, can't I like do it. it. I so. can't do it either. <laughs> <laughs> this past weekend, your Bruins were up at Cal Berkeley, and we switched up the lineup a little bit. We added some people who had, hadn't competed on that event before, but it ended up great because your Bruins scored a 197.75. Just goes to show how much depth we have, and everyone is ready to come in when needed, and we've all been working so hard. Let's recap the meet. The Bruins started off on the uneven bars and we got our season high score of a 49.525 with Nia Dennis starting us off with a 9.9 and Savannah Koyman coming into the lineup with a 9.875 sticking her dismount. Moving on to the vault, Anna Glenn debuted for the first time of her collegiate career and she did a beautiful Yurchenko layout full. And of course, our special guest for the day, one vault with an amazing, incredible one and a half. She stuck that cold. Her feet did not move, ladies and gentlemen. And then the Bruins went off to floor and Gracie started us off with a 9.875. And I think she did pretty well because the music was a little wonky for about yes. half of the routine. <laughs> so good job, Gracie. And then Pua coming in clutch with her 9.9 .9 first time in lineup. And she won that too. <laughs> Two wins, Bruins, two wins. <laughs> so lastly, the Bruins ended up on beam, and that lineup was completely different than what we had been doing all season. And we had back-to-back 995s -back from Grace Glenn and Caitlin Ohashi. All right, let's get to know our guest for the day. Pua, how did you feel getting up on the floor again? Because you hadn't been in floor lineup this whole time. Yeah, so it was exciting to do it. Um, though I don't show a lot of excitement, Gracie came up to me before. She's like, are you excited? And I was like, it's not that I'm like super excited or not excited, it's just a floor routine. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's a senior mindset, <laughs> friends. <laughs> just another floor routine, I'm just gonna do what I've been doing. So like, I'm not trying to hype it up or anything, but I'm just gonna do another floor routine. <laughs> I want to say your hands are so pretty in your floor routine. Thank you. Um, I would say that's probably from my background in hula. Oh. It really has taught me how to be graceful look with my hands. Wow, like, let's like, look at her hand. Look at our hands. <laughs> now look at her hands. Oh, I don't, it's Mine the movements. Look, it's nice. It's like a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I look like, for like a mind, look like claws. Like <laughs> Mine's more like Halloween horror night. <laughs> we'll keep that for Nipulani with the hula. Yeah. I should have started earlier. <laughs> how much hula have you done? So I've done about six years of hula. Oh, wow. I did it growing up. Uh, I performed at the Pro Bowl one year when I was, I think, like six years old to, with my hula company, I did hula. And yeah, I, once I was six, I had to pick between hula, gymnastics, and cheerleading, and I obviously picked gym. Wow, I did not know this fun facts about Pua today. I did not know that. Yeah, or else I maybe still would be a hula dancer. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I knew you did it, but yeah. I didn't know it was for that long. Yeah. It was like a profession. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> so I know we can all relate to this because we're all seniors and you know, bodies breaking down, you know, the pain of the body and everything. But Pua, you've been limiting impact ever since preseason. And that's just for the sake of your body and your back and everything like that. And how has that helped with you coming into floor? Do you think that's definitely just been like very beneficial, especially for vault? Yeah, so my regimen lately especially, I really only train one time a week. And since I only train one time a week, it's really important that that time I do train, I'm mentally strong and mentally sharp. So I don't take any wrong turns. Or I don't take bad turns that hurt my back more because my back is really bad. So it's important that what I do, I do it well. Every time I train, since that has to be good that first time, that translates to when I compete. So that's why I feel like I've been able to be on my game for most of those meets. She is a prime example of quality over quantity. She is very just, she could just take one turn and then be ready for competition, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. I was like, that is such a senior mindset. You've grown so much as a leader too. You've spoken up so much. She's literally in those team huddles. She's making sure everyone is bought in. What has 
motivated you to step into that leadership position? Well, ever since spring quarter, I think our team went through a lot and we as a team realized how much power we had and how much of a voice we had. So I think that as a senior class, we decided to, to use that voice and to make sure to be good leaders for the team because we knew we could and we knew they listened. It's definitely helped a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And it hasn't always been easy. There's been times when I've had to go up to teammates who I love and have to give them tough love. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for me to sometimes not be mean, but to be honest and not always be nice. But I mean, there's a way to be right. nice and honest and- And make it constructive. Honest yeah. and respectful it's been real, yeah. and yeah, for sure. So it's been helping me grow as well. <laughs> well, it definitely is coming out in all aspects of life. Thank you. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> now it is time for the Twitter questions. Y'all submitted some questions to ask Napulani Hall. And here's the one I picked from Madeline Sims, what has been your favorite moment on the team? Uh. <laughs> She's like, oh. I feel, it's such a good question, but I know it's so hard uh, to narrow yes, down. I know. Four years goes by like this. It, there isn't any one specific moment that stands out, really. <laughs> it's just how much we all have grown together as a team that really, you know, that gives me life and that gives, I know that gives other people life. So I really can't pick a moment, which I'm sorry that I can't pick one, <laughs> but there's been so many moments that have built us to where we are today. And that like, it's like this moment, like I couldn't be more happy, you Aww. know, that like we are what we are and we have what we have. What did you say the biggest growth has been from freshman year like as a team to senior because we we always go through so many teams and there's always different people what has been the main thing that has stuck out to you one thing that i think we've incorporated so well over the years is just like learning how to unconditionally love each other mm -hmm. and you know not <laughs> being judgmental and being open-minded and i think that's really helped us as a team become cohesively together more and just made us stronger. For sure. I think yeah. you've done such a great job of realizing that too, because Pua always does, she does her own regimen. She respects other people when they do their own regimen. Obviously it's worked out, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have a few favorite memories? Can you narrow a couple down? <laughs> Um, I mean, my, through college, my one of my most favorite is probably getting my cat, <laughs> <laughs> bringing her to practice. I brought her to practice one time. She's chilling in her little like kennel. I bought a crate for her. I, I didn't realize how big she is. She's really fat. <laughs> I literally have to stuff her in. I need to get a new one because she can only lay in it. But I, <laughs> I brought her with me on vault and it was really life changing to get to like to let her watch me on vault. So. <laughs> And then you took her upstairs into the shower. Yeah, no, I remember because I went I up there to pet her. that she was stuck in her crate, so I put her in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guys, don't open the door, she'll run out. Yeah, but like they would go in between events and <laughs> play with her. I would go up there and play with her when I was done with my workouts. So my question is from Lex Uloa. What goals do you plan to accomplish as a student athlete and how do you hope those efforts in accomplishing your goals transfer into life beyond UCLA Gymnastics? Question mark, hashtag Rube Manter. <laughs> <laughs> so I honestly, I just want to keep growing as a person. I hope that the team keeps growing as well. I still feel like even though we have come so far, we still haven't reached our full potential and we'll still grow as a team. So I hope that I can stay healthy as long as the rest of the team. I hope I can be on honor roll every quarter still. I only have two more quarters left to do that. And Girl, then, that's my goal too. After, <laughs> <laughs> after that, I hope that all of that gymnastics taught me, that UCLA gymnastics taught me, I can take that into my career, which I plan to get into real estate. So if you guys need an agent, hit me up. <laughs> Yeah, so you did internships too. Yeah, I worked for a real estate company over the summer. It was absolutely amazing. It was super cool that I felt like I found my dream job when I was still in college. But I plan to work for them, the company that I worked for after summer and after I get my real estate license. So yeah, if you guys, again, need a real, real estate agent, let me know. <laughs> Might need one. <laughs> Get her a career started Get her early. Career started. I'm staying in LA. Pua's World Services to you. <laughs> to your world. <laughs> Thank you, Pua, for coming on Brew. Love you guys. Oh, senior, senior love. love. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we might have twins on the team, but I think Jay and oh I are god. starting to twin. Oh my god. <laughs> Spending too much time. <laughs> too much time together. <laughs> Always. This Sunday, your Bruins are competing against number three Utah, February 18th at 5 p.m. in Poly Pavilion. And that is Pacific time. So thank you once again for tuning in to Bruin Banter. <laughs>